In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the WWE Ultimate Edition Attitude Era Ring Kane action figure, man. And we're not going to be including the ring here today. Now, this is a figure that I've had for a very long time, but I never had the opportunity to actually review the Kane Ultimate Edition figure. This is the only Ultimate Edition figure that I don't think I've released out of all the Ultimate Editions that have been released by Mattel. This is the only one that I have not reviewed on the channel. This is the only one that I've never had in my hands. And I've had the Attitude Era ring for a long time. I had it meant on card. And then on the buy one, get one sale for Christmas or for Black Friday on MattelCreations.com, they did list this cane up there for buy one, get one. So I went ahead and bought two. And so now I do finally have one to open. And now I'm excited, man, because we can finally crack this guy out of the packaging and I can actually review this cane figure for you guys. It looks amazing. I want to say it's one of the top 10 Ultimate Editions. I ranked it when we did do our ranking here. But dude, this figure looks pretty damn cool. And I know that uh, the packaging is kind of eh. You know, it is windy. Window lists. I don't know what the hell people's, you know, just what their obsession is with the non windowless packaging or the windowless packaging there, but this is pretty cool. I mean, like, it, it looks pretty cool for what it is. It's just a standard box here. You have Kane, you have Kane across the, uh, the front, you have Kane across the top, very similar to like some old school Ultimate Edition there. On the bottom, you have Ultimate Edition. It's very light, by the way. It's not heavy in any circumstance. It's very light, you know, and it's got the standard over there. And it is like one square box, but on the back, you got a product shot of the figure. Kane here, Ultimate Edition. Then you have a shot of Kane there. And yeah, all the stuff is looking pretty Kane like, man. But uh, th this figure, I have been waiting to review for a very long time. I'm excited for it. Can't wait to dive into it with you guys, but nonetheless, let's shut the hell up. Let's crack Kane out of his packaging, and let's find out what this Ultimate Edition Kane figure is all about, compare him to his last figure, and just see where the hell we go from here. All right, guys, so here is the Kane Ultimate Edition figure out of the packaging, and my God in heaven, what a decision I've made, man. If you don't own this figure right here, man, I don't know what the hell you're doing. This figure right here might be higher than I thought on my Ultimate Edition ranking. I I, I don't know, but it, it is damn good. It is easily top 10 from just this uh, little bit of time that I've had with the figure. I mean, it, it is really one of the top Ultimate Editions, and I know most of it's just a repaint, but I think you have a lot of great things going on with this Kane figure, and I think they need to make another Kane figure. There are so many different Kanes they need to make. I think I had this on my wish list the other day, and we're going to do a comparison in this video with what kind of Kane Ultimate Edition that I would like to see from Mattel. But there are so many untapped, uh, so much untapped potential with the Kane action figures, especially for a long time, man, because his elite figures were so trash and uh, not necessarily trash. Like he's obviously had some really, he's had some really classic and awesome elite action figures, but there are so many things they could do to improve his figures and really throw them over the top. And I think they started that all with his first Ultimate Edition. And now we're seeing it again with this repaint. I know this, again, this figure has been out for a little bit, man, but my God, this figure is a classic. I, I'm really impressed so far, but nonetheless, man, we're going to dive into the accessories you get with this Kane figure. Not including the ring, of course. I'm not including the ring, but we're going to run it back and take a closer look at the figure after we take a closer look at the accessories, and then I also want to show you guys some different Kane stuff that I'm talking about. But nonetheless, let's shut the hell up, dive into the Kane accessories, and see what this guy's all about. All right, man, so getting into Kane's accessories, you don't get a whole lot. Now, obviously, with the first Ultimate Edition that we got from Kane, we got a championship, we got that cloth cape, we got some interchangeable hands, I think we even got the voice changer. That's like the biggest differences. And I want to say we may have even gotten more interchangeable hands, or maybe not, I don't know, but this is, I mean, you don't get a lot, to be honest with you, but you do get a whole ass ring. So, I mean, I don't know really what you want, Brad. But for these head sculpts, they are the exact same head sculpts we got last time, but they are repainted. So, if you guys wanted to see the differences between the two, here's the first Ultimate Edition on the left, and then here's the repaint. So, it's pretty much just the black and red inverted, which I was always a bigger fan of the, probably the standard cane. But these masks that are on this new Ultimate Edition are kind of similar to like an 01 cane or like an early 2000s cane or a late. 90s came and they're the same mask pretty much as that and I do have some cu uh, a custom ultimate edition head sculpt that is painted like this from BEW that I'll show in just a second because I have a head sculpt that matches the other interchangeable one about the hair down so this is the first head sculpt that do that's so good man these ultimate edition cane masks are so nice but here's the other version with the hair slicked back and this looks just like cane from this era freaking ridiculous but here's the custom one from BEW up next to the ultimate edition so you guys can kind of see 
uh, what this looks like. Like, this one's probably more realistic looking from BEW, but still, they're, I mean, they're virtually the exact same as you guys can tell. So, yeah, I mean, and this is like, this is the ultimate edition that I want to see, but we'll get into that in just a moment. But the, the head sculpts are virtually the exact same here. But they did a fantastic job on these. Great job by Mattel on these head sculpts. I know they're repaints, but I enjoyed the first Ultimate Edition Kane, and I think repainting that was genius. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get a bright black gloved hand with black peg, which is kind of boring because it's just a painted hand, and then the left hand is just a bare hand, you know, so he did have like the one gloved hand and then the one non-gloved hand. And then he also has his choke slamming hand or his tightening glove hand here, which we did see on the R-Truth Greatest Hits figure. You know what I'm talking about? So there is the sculpted gloved hand, which I really like. It's like the pre-choke slam hand or a choke slamming hand. And then you have the off hand, which is just like the R-Truth hand as well. So that's what's kind of bummy is uh, I love the glove, the glove sculpted hand, but I don't like that... The other hands are pretty much just normal sized hands. Like Kane's hands are not normal sized. They're pretty damn big. So that would have been cool to see them uh, change the size and whatnot. But I guess it gets the job done. I think that, you know, these are still working hands for Kane. But yeah, that is the accessories you get with the Ultimate Edition Kane Attitude Era Ring Ultimate Edition Exclusive Mattel Creations BS. All right, man. So getting into the Kane Ultimate Edition figure, man, starting out with the head sculpt. We did take a look at it, man. I mean, it just looks so menacing, man. Look at the hair coming down on the black and red mask. It looks so good. And what's crazy is this is actually not just a straight up repaint because they've actually added like new sculpt to the chest right here so all of this is brand new right here all these sculpted flame like uh gaps right here like the negative space on the suit or on the body suit whatever you want to say on this attire is newly sculpted we didn't see that last time on the Kane ultimate edition so they did that they did a really good job of sculpting that in there you do have like the studs around here butterfly joints all of this they do a really good job on the Kane ultimate edition figures of making him look big and like uh, i don't know they get like the size of the character they capture how big he was and that's what i really love about the ultimate editions from mattel on the cane figure specifically but spinning it around you guys can see also this is also sculpted in here all this negative space you have the butterfly joints in there of course all the black and red flame designs he does have the belt on there that's sculpted on and it is movable you could like pose that around a little bit and it's not like a finicky annoying thing it's actually in there quite good he does have his uh, wrist cuffs or gauntlets on there. You have the longer one on the left and the shorter one on the right for the gloved hand, which I also like. Dude, he's just he's just a mammoth of a man, man. And he also doesn't have, you know, the paint chipping right here on the elbow or no, no paint missing right here on the elbow, which I think is also awesome. But going down to the legs, you have the black and red on the legs. And then one thing that's awesome about this, this figure specifically is they do have the shiny black boots that Kane had. So these are accurate. So they do have like that shiny metallic, not metallic, finish but there's just the ultra glossy black boots that he used to wear so I think that's awesome that they captured that in this figure at the end of the day man this figure is just a monster it is the big red monster I mean like just an absolute menace to society now I will say that like his joints are a bit tight you know like he doesn't have ball joints I think that would really put it over the top here, but he can do all the different poses, you know, great butterfly joint, uh, double jointed arms, like he feels just really good in hand as well, now I know again, I did say that he doesn't have the best, like big, like his big boots, not the best, he doesn't have drop down hips, which is kind of a, I feel like a lot of people would say it's probably a good thing, but oh man, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying the hell out of myself with this cane figure, super happy that I decided to cash in my money in the bank briefcase on that buy one, get one sale, I'd love to know if anybody else did anything like that down in the comment section below, it took a little bit to get here, but you know what? I think it was absolutely worth the purchase, but I do want to get into some uh, Ultimate Edition or just some Kane figure comparisons really quick. For your Kane figure comparisons, guys, here is the Ultimate Edition or the first edition Ultimate Edition on the left of Kane. We have the Attitude Era Ring Ultimate Edition Kane in the middle, and then we do have the Ringside Exclusive Fix-Up Hardcore Kane Elite figure on the right, which I did put Braun Strowman arms on there, a custom Ultimate Edition head sculpt, which we touched on before, and then, uh, yeah, just fixed him up a little bit and it really, I don't know, it makes him feel way bigger and on par with these Ultimate Editions over here. But yeah, the, the big thing about old Kane Elites is they made the, the arms too long and skinny. And then they also made the torso too skinny. Like, I just felt like this doesn't capture how big Kane was. I mean, the arms it definitely help for sure. But the Ultimate Editions do a much better job of representing Kane than the standard Elites do. But with the fix-ups, you can like do some different eye trickeration and stuff like that. But uh, I, I kind of want to get another Kane Elite in here so you guys can kind of see the 
difference between what you know what we're used to seeing versus an Ultimate Edition versus the Fix Up Elite that we did here. Maybe you already know, but I just want to do it anyway. But it goes without saying, I want this exact look in Ultimate Edition form with the sculpts and all the different things going on because I think this would translate. Like, this as an Ultimate would be freaking ridiculous. They need to do so. So hopefully we'll see that one day for Mattel. So back in the day, this is what they used to do for the Kane Elite figures, man. They used to give him these long, skinny arms with this torso. And like, just how, look how lean he looks. And look, I took this exact figure and put this same arm fix up onto the cane. And this was the change right here. So this is the difference that you get between the two when you upgrade the arms. So yeah, this may look a little bit ridiculous at certain angles, but it looks way better than this, this skinny stuff over here, man. So yeah, the, there's definitely a difference. And then when they upgraded to the double jointed arms, they did change the cane formula. Like they started giving the giving him the bigger arms and it really led to some awesome figures. Look at the Legends Target exclusive cane with the World Tag Team Championship. That's an awesome cane figure to look at. So yeah, man, there's definitely things that they've done to improve the cane figures and I'm glad to see it because as good as his figures were before, I think they have they knock them out of the park on a clip now. So that's really nice to see with the cane figures, being a big fan of cane growing up. But I think that pretty much wraps up our Ultimate Edition Attitude Era Kane Mattel Creations exclusive figure review, man. I am really blown away by this. Now, I knew this figure was super awesome, or I knew that it was a great figure. I ranked it accordingly in my Ultimate Edition ranking when I ranked every single Ultimate Edition. I think it was like, what, 40 or 50 Ultimate Editions? When we did that ranking video, I didn't have this figure out of the packaging, but I did include it, and I want to say I put it in the top 10. It was like number 7 or 8 or something like that. And now I am, uh, I, I just made that on a whim. Like, I took a look at the figure and said, you know what, based on my analytics and based off my eyesight, I think that it would probably fall in this area. And I think I've nailed that ranking, like, before even having the figure in hand. It may even climb a few spots now, but uh, I, this also, just saying those words out loud actually makes me really excited because at the end of the year, you guys know that we love to do ranking stuff, it's ranking style videos. We're going to rank the top 10 AEW figures of the year, the top 10 WWE elites, the top 10 WWE ultimates. So we're definitely going to get our share of ranking videos in. I can't wait to do so. Rank the figures of the year and all those different things. Super excited for that. That's one of my favorite times of the year, so that'll be awesome. But this figure really blew me away, man. If there's a way for you to get this figure, or maybe you already have this figure, or whatever the case is, man, you definitely need to grab it. Now, what makes me sick is I've had this figure, like, men on card just sitting in a box for, I mean, since it released. So, uh, I have waited a long time to get this figure, so I'm excited that I finally get to pose them around and do some different things. Man, I love the shine on the boots, like the accurate cane boots. I love the, the suit. I love the masks and the different stuff going on with it. it. It's a beast of a figure. This is an absolute monster in every sense of the word, with the puns intended, man. I love this cane figure. Uh, amazing figure. Absolutely amazing. Great job on this one so far. And so I am I'm awaiting more Ultimate Edition cane, man. I, I want to see more cane figures. But nonetheless, man, that is pretty much going to wrap up our cane Ultimate Edition review. Hope you guys kind of enjoyed this kind of retro review because this is a this is kind of a throwback because this figure is, I know it's not, it just didn't release, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it anyway. I'd love to know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below, of course, but that is going to wrap this video up, man. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel, man. I'm finally getting back to full strength now. Thank God. It's been just a freaking nightmare, man. The past week, getting over the flu and just dealing with sickness has been crazy, but I hope you guys, I appreciate you guys sticking by and I appreciate every single one of you, man. Leave a like on the video. I greatly appreciate it. Leave me your thoughts on this cane figure down in the comment section below. I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my name, Toys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.